Hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your Android device, particularly your cell phone or even a tablet, to list and sell items on eBay. Of course, naturally, first you have to have an eBay account, get the eBay app and install it. And from there, you can sell an item. So once you have your pictures taken on your phone or on your tablet, click on sell an item and you want to start out with a title for the item so I like to start out with exactly what it is this is a pyramid power supply then you click go once you get your cert get your title in and it'll give you a little category here to select from click on the predetermined categories and now you have a category for it to go this one's going to go under consumer electronics radio communications parts and accessories so from here you need to add your photos all the details and everything else so first we'll add the photos And once you get it all set and you crop into your item, you just hit upload and it uploads a photo. It tells you right here you can add up to 12 photos for free. I only need about three. And that right there will give me the all three photos that I need. So all you got to do once you get your photos in is click done. Now we need to set the condition. Naturally, the item's used, but it is in very good condition. It's in really good shape. It's been well taken care of and maintained. So now we need to set a description. Okay, and once you get your description in, all you have to do is hit done. Now, if you want, you can actually change the title. And I'm just going to add model PS-9 KX done now you need to set your format and price you can do it as a fixed price or as an auction I'm going to start this auction out at probably ten dollars click show more options and now if you after you hit show more options if you want to set a buy it now price where they can just purchase it straight up you can set it right here
and you can set a reserve price so that the reserve price is basically if it's not going to sell unless it matches that reserve or higher so let's say I have a, an item that's worth about a thousand dollars and I'm willing to sell it for 600 but I won't sell it for any less then I can list it for 99 cents and put a $600 reserve on it and if it doesn't go over that $600 the item will not sell you set your duration standard auction is seven days you can set it for a 10 day five day or three day I'm gonna leave it at the standard of seven I'm not worried about a reserve price if it sells for the ten dollars that I started out for thirty two or higher I'll be perfectly happy and then you can also set when you want it to start you can set a scheduled start time I want it to start immediately you can set see what the end time down here is gonna be and from that point just hit done And now we can come down here. Here's the shipping. By the way, the mouse pointer on here, every click on the mouse is just like touching or tapping the screen. And whenever you get to the shipping, you want to set what the package details are. This box is literally a cube. Okay, so it's got it's an eight by eight by eight box. And the weight is actually about five to six pounds. Actually, it's probably more like eight to nine. It's about as heavy as a good rifle. So once you get your weight in there and get your box dimensions, hit save. Now we have what the package details are. Here's USPS, US Postal Service, first class. So we'll drop this down. We're going to change it to standard services. We're going to go with FedEx. The only reason I'm going with FedEx is because it's one that I tend to use a lot around here local in my area. We do have UPS drop-off locations, but for smaller packages, FedEx tends to do all right. And there's lots of places around here I can drop it off at. So whichever one's more convenient for you is probably the one you want to select and go with. Now that I have that set. And we'll just go ahead and leave that one. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and leave the international one the way it is. And we'll go back up to the top and hit done. And now, if you have preferences for payment, you can come down here and select it. I generally have mine set up to use my PayPal, that's my preferred method. But I'm going to go ahead and add the option for Visa or MasterCard as I do have the ability to actually for the purchase and complete it. And for the return policy, I generally do not accept returns. It all depends on the item. Most of the time it's no returns accepted. Sometimes I will do returns depending on what it is, uh, whether or not it was something I worked on or fixed. Just depends on different variants. But now that I have that set, I'm going to hit done. 
do a quick look over everything looks good so we'll click review grand totals free and you have the option right here to preview your listing and if you don't feel like previewing if you think it's all good you can just go ahead and hit list item and just like that the item is listed for sale you can go back and check out your item by going to my eBay and selling and right here is your item you can see whether or not you have any bids or anything else how many days it has left the time left on it watchers and you can keep an eye on it and keep track on it right here this information is out there for absolutely everybody as always watch like and share and have a great day